Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my review, and today we are gonna do a quick comparison between Huawei Kirin 810 versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. So we'll be giving you all the information required, and you need to choose between which one suits best for you. So without any further delay, let's begin. So talking about the Huawei Kirin 810, it is based on 7nm fabrication technology, whereas Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 is based on 8nm fabrication technology. So from here you can see that obviously the 7nm one is more battery efficient so you are going to get good battery life on 810 then on 730. So talking about the CPU, so there are two Cortex A76 based cores clocked at 2.27 GHz and six Cortex A55 based cores clocked at 1.88 GHz in 810 whereas there are 8 Qualcomm Cryo 470 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz in 730. So the Cryo cores are just customized cores from Qualcomm according to their needs. So looking at this one, we can clearly say that the performance wise best one is 730 whereas even the CPU favors the better battery life for the Huawei Kirin 810. So if you are sort of high-end user who require best performance from your device then you go for 730 else if you want a good battery life if you don't like to charge the device so often then you may go with 810 but wait this is not trying to take the decision i am here with the gpu comparison so mali g52 mp6 is the gpu on 810 whereas qualcomm adreno 618 is on 730. So the company claims that the Mali G52 MP6 is around 10 to 15 percent more powerful and efficient than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. And here comes the point where the Kirin 810 just moves a step ahead of 730 because it is packed with NPU, Huawei Da Vinci architecture, but there is no such NPU in. Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. So if you want any detailed video on what is NPU, how does it work, then comment me below. I'll provide you another video on the topic. So till now there are no smartphone launched with Kirin 810. So we don't know exactly how the processor performs, but the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 is launched with Galaxy A80, Redmi K20, and maybe also with Realme X. So we exactly know how the 730 performs but we exactly don't know how Kirin 810 performs so before making the mind wait for some time wait for Huawei to launch the processor and see the reviews before choosing any one of the options and talking about NPU present in this one outperforms the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 SoC as well and the P90 and this may be something around but I think that com according to company they also claim that it is better performer it also be better than the one presenting the Helio P90 chip which we already know is a better performer than the Snapdragon 855 in the aspect of NPU So this is the main detail comparison and other things such as the up speed, down speed, etc. does not really matter much because we are not gonna get the whole speed which the processor is capable of delivering to us. So this is the main difference between these two and again let me summarize the pros and cons of both the ones so Huawei Kirin 810 is battery efficient and the GPU is slightly better than 618 and it has NPU and the downside is it is slightly low performer than 730 and the, none of the smartphone is released with this one so we don't know actually how does it perform because the paper specification does not justify everything about the product and talking about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 then its plus point is it is slightly better performer than Kirin 810 and it 
is already released with few smartphones so we actually know how the pro processor performs so we are not going to get any kind of issues when the, we buy any uh, smartphone with Qualcomm 730 but the downside is it has no NPU and it is slightly and it slightly consumes more battery than the Kirin 810 so which one do you think is the best for you comment me below and this is all for today guys hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to support the channel until my next video peace